Hi, YouTubers and Wedgehavers everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. This time around, it's a vintage shave. A vintage shave with the Micromatic Clog Proof Single Edge Safety Razor. These were made by the American Safety Razor Company. You've heard me talk about these before in the past. I've called them the best kept secret in traditional wet shaving, and they really are an amazing, amazing razor. This clog proof has a closed comb, and it's also a twist to open, and it has these large channels here, which really move the lather away as you're plowing through a shave. Now, it is a single edge razor, as I say, and they use the razor uses the Gem Persona Stainless Steel Single Edge Razor Blade. There aren't a lot of options when it comes to razor blades for these razors. Gem and Treat, and I think that's really about it. Uh, Gem makes two kinds, the stainless steel and the carbon steel. Treat makes a carbon steel. I'm not sure if they make a uh, stainless steel. There's also one out there called Ted Pella, which is stainless steel, which a, a lot of wet shavers love. But these are very nice. They're very smooth. Um, they're stainless steel. I like them a lot. They come in a blade vault like this. And all you do is just push on the spine of the blade here and push it out. And then you insert it into the razor. Now the razor has a unique design because the approach to the shave is very different from that of a double-edged razor. Double-edged razor is held at 30 degrees. Well, with this razor, this surface right here on top, right here, that is meant to be held flat against the face, right here like this. And it guides, it helps guide the blade in the proper angle. It's very similar to the angle used uh, when shaving with a straight razor. At least this is what I've heard and read online, and I can understand that. Um, a lot of folks call this a straight razor on a pole because it has that kind of feel. Some say this is the closest to shaving with a straight razor without actually using a straight razor because the blades are stiff and the angle is similar. So we're going to shave with it. We're also going to be using Tabak, which is soaking right now. I'm going to be using my um, AP Shaving Company uh, synthetic brush with the Tuxedo Knot. We're going to finish it off with some Panog, which is getting kind of low, but that's okay because it's a vintage shave. We want to use a vintage scent, and we're also going to finish it up with some Wild Country Aftershave Balm. So, let's get right to it then. I'm going to open up my razor, and I'm going to pull out... A blade and to load the razor all you do is just all you do is just lay it in there like that it has two stops right here here and here which keep the blade in place and then you just twist it close now it does look rather aggressive but the shape of this razor is mild aggressive really it's it's not a very aggressive uh, shave at all. It's right in the ballpark with um, Gillette Super Speed Silver Tip. Right about there. Maybe a tad more aggressive than that. Maybe. Um, but depending on your skin type and your beard type, you're going to need anywhere from two to three passes. We'll see what we, what we get today. Usually I'm, well, we'll see what it is. Usually it, it varies from shave to shave for me. Um, the more aggressive version of, of this razor is the Micromatic open comb which is a which has a comb right here very similar twist open twist to close this razor these razors are plentiful on ebay in yard sales um garage sales that sort of thing and let me just wipe this off here there these razors are plentiful in Yard sales, garage sales, antique stores, uh, and um, Barbie basement prices many times. Uh, this one I got, this Micromatic Clog Proof, I got with the case uh, for $12, um, which was really nice. And uh, this open comb I bought at a local antique store for $5. And look, it looks brand new. So if you want to get into single edge shaving, 
and don't want to spend a lot of money for a lot of those new single edge razors because they can be quite expensive. This is a real economical way to get into it and it gives you a great, great shave. So we've got our razor and blade all set to go. So let's take my Tabak, which has been soaking in hot water. We're going to use that. We're going to use some of that as kind of a pre-shave and wet the face. All right, let's get my brush here. We're going to just wring this out just a little bit here. And we're going to go about making the lather. And we're going to uh, go for about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, something like that, and get a good, a good lather built up here. And we're going to continue doing the face lather. Okay, so that should have it. And we got a good load on the brush here. So here we go. And again, I like these synthetic brushes because they just build a heap of lather from uh, hard soaps and shave sticks. Okay, that's got it. That, that's got it really nicely. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna heat up this razor. That's nice. Give it a swirl, bring it to temperature. All right, because this is the Micromatic clog proof and you're gonna hold it at a completely different angle from a double-edged razor. Uh, we're gonna have to change our little uh, opening here to the shave. So, flat against the face. Now, wait a minute, before I start this. <laughs> Let me make sure of a couple of things here. Um, again, let this surface right here guide you, hold it flat against the face. Now, it's gonna vary from shaver to shaver. Some guys like to back off a little bit. Some guys like to hold it there as close as possible. I'm that way, I like to hold it as close as possible. The other thing is a light touch. All you need is a light touch. This is a solid brass razor. It was originally gold plated and some of that gold plating has worn off, but you can see it's still in beautiful shape. At least that's what my understanding is. And it's from the 30s, late 30s, early 40s. So, wow, it's really amazing. Um, it has nice heft and really nice balance. So the razor will do the work for you. So just a light touch with these. You really want to use a light touch. All right, so having said that, flat against the face, a light touch, let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. I just want to show you, see how this bottom here, the bottom of that razor just collects all that lather there. Just, those two big channels just kind of move it out of the way. I guess that's why they call it the clog proof. As long as you keep that surface flat against the skin, you'll be okay and you'll be cutting whisker. You'll be actually shearing whisker, really. Now the only problem you have with these razors is trying to get up under the nose because of the angle of the head and how you're holding it. So that is a little difficult. So for under the nose, I usually go east to west on all my passes.
I like to get a little bit of cream on my finger here and just put a little bit more up under the nose because it is a little bit of a challenge in learning this razor to get those little bits up underneath there. Okay, that's the first pass. Let's rinse. Like all razors, the first pass knocks down that growth. You're gonna need a second pass, sometimes a third pass, depending on your skin type and your beard type. So we're gonna go ahead with the second pass. First pass was good, as to be expected. The second pass should really clean things up. It's a very, very smooth razor. Very smooth. All right. Okay, for the second pass, we're gonna go east to west across the grain. And really, it is such a different approach. You really, when you first use this razor, you really have to work at really keeping it flat against the skin. Uh, you'll cut the whisker, you'll get a lot of audio feedback. And I know that when I get away from using this razor and then come back to it, I really have to relearn the technique a little bit. It's not that big of a change, but it does feel different. And, and you really have to adjust a little bit. But it's very, very smooth, very smooth. Well, I haven't used it in a while in my rotation, so bring, coming back to it, I myself, during the shave, I'm just taking it a little slower to make sure that I'm holding the proper angle. And really, this surface really does allow you to do that. So when you use it the first time out, as long as you hold that as close to your face as possible, you'll be cutting whisker, you'll be fine. You'll get, be getting a nice, smooth shave. All right, second pass is done, let's rinse. Well, <laughs> well, for me, two passes is all I need with this razor. That's how nice of a razor it is. It really is nice. Three passes would probably give me an even closer shave, but really, this is, this is all I'm, this is fine. I'm good for the office and evening out. It's a very, very nice close shave. And because the razor has uh, a little more aggressive quality to it, 
I tend to not use the third pass because I really don't need it. I mean, two passes is, is fine. If I want to do a little light cleanup, touch up, you know, a little buffing here and there, I could do that. But sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just for the purposes of this video, to move things along, two passes, we're good. All right, let's do our two final rinses. One, one warm, one cold, right from the tap. Okay, now we're going to go with our cold water rinse. All right, I got a clean, fresh towel right here waiting for me. Very nice. Oh, wow, that was close. That's a, that's a nice close. That's a nice close shave. And again, I could probably do a third pass. I don't need it. It's, I'm already close enough right now. I mean, Wow, that's a, that's a close shave. That really is nice. So you can see that the razor is probably a little more highly efficient than some of the vintage Gillette Super Speeds out there. Um, as I say, your mileage may vary depending on your skin type and beard type. Sometimes I use a third pass for this. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. It just depends on how I feel, but I want to move the video along. We're, this is this is absolutely perfect. We're going to finish off with some Pinot right here. Nice feedback. Really, really nice feedback. Not a uh, not a sting, but a nice. A nice zing to it, which is really, really nice. All right, so, boy, it's that time of year where it's warm and it's cold. So we were about 73 degrees the other day. Now we're only going to be about, I don't know, 45, 50, maybe if that. So we're going to have some aftershave balm here, some wild country. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna use a little bit upstairs. Great shave. A great vintage shave. Really, really nice. I mean this was this is a this is really a remarkable vintage razor. If you want to try single edge shaving, this is the one to get, the Micromatic Clog Proof. They also have the Micromatic Open Comb, they have the Bullet, the G-Bar, they have a, there's a lot of them out there at yard sales and garage sales and antique stores. Uh, some are, well the Open Comb is aggressive, this one is right there in the middle, probably a little more on the aggressive side. The others. That, uh, that I mentioned, some of them are mild. Um, they're just really, really nice, efficient razors. Again, the only downside is you only have maybe a couple of brand of blades to choose from. Make sure you get Gem Persona Stainless Steel in the shading aisle. Don't go to the hardware store and get a paint scraper, you'll hurt yourself. Get the straight razor, straight edge, the single edge razor, razor blades that are made for a single edge razor. And really, it's an affordable way to get into um, uh, a single edge uh, shaving. If you want to try single edge shaving, this is really the way to go. And um, these are beautiful razors. They were so well made. Look, I mean, this thing is, what, 78 years old? And it still holds up and still gives great shaves. So you have to remember... Use this surface right here to, as your guide, right here, this surface right here, hold that flat against the face, a light touch, let the razor do the work, um, and you get some really remarkable close shave. I mean, right now, I mean, this shave, I'm glad I didn't do a third shave. I think a third shave, a third, I'm glad I didn't do a third, a third pass. This is all I needed, really. Um, American Safety Razor Company uh, marketed this razor um, from the standpoint that you 
will get rid of five o'clock shadow. And you know what? That's a very true claim. Uh, this shade lasts and lasts and lasts. It really does. It's that close. It's a different approach. It's a different feel from a double edge razor. Completely different, but boy, it is very, very satisfying. And look, in two passes, I got a really nice, clean, smooth shave. Really, I mean, I mean, really, this is a nice, this is a nice shave. Really, really nice shave. And if you just get up underneath there, you know, sorry, if you use a little extra cream up there and you just take your time up under the nose, you can get those little bits out of there with uh, no problem at all. And also, um, you know, on the corners of the mouth, does a great job. It really is a very, very good razor. Again, your mileage may vary depending on your beard type and skin type as to the number of passes you have to uh, use. But if you keep this flat against the face and you'll adjust a little bit, some of you guys will back off a little bit, some of you will keep it flat like I did. Uh, flat against the face, a light touch. Boy, you get some really, really remarkable shaves. And I like the stainless steel blade blades because the, the carbon blades tend to immediately rust after the shave, so I don't really use those. Although, they do give nice, smooth shaves. So, it's up to you how you want to play that. All right. Hey, thanks very much. That's all I have to say right now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, comment below. Let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.